Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Kepi from Debbie Monero. All right, so if you're following day to day, we did one from Debbie yesterday too. Uh, because on Thursday, we featured both of these new tangles on our tangle time session. And uh, I like to do a daily tangle, so that's why I'm splitting them up here. Um, but really, really neat tangle. All right. So this starts off with a big S-shaped curve line. I think I'm going to go on the diagonal here. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave a little bit of room. There we go. Pen's misbehaving, but it's... It does what say sometimes do when you go too fast. <laughs> sometimes yeah, if you if you're moving your pen fast and it's skipping, that could be why, because it just doesn't like going that fast. All right. Then you can pick whichever uh, side you want to do this, but we're gonna essentially aura this line. Let's go a little bit. Well, no, it's oh I know I'm going like that, dragging it. Let's try it again. So essentially auraing it and then bringing them the line bringing the lines together uh, up there at the top okay then you know pick a side and we're going to start here right on this line and kind of well, you can do you know honestly you can do whatever shape you want it's entangled right um, but I'm going to kind of make a an s shape essentially making a big wide aura on this one, but it's, we're just doing a bunch of dashed lines. <laughs> like that. Okay, and then I'm trying to revive this little guy here real quick. One second. You know, uh, just if you like to work over other things with your pens, I have a, uh, actually I could probably use to turn it. It's a, just a paper towel that I folded so that way that I can unfold and refold and get a, oh, there we go. We could do on the inside here, uh, you know, a cleaner surface. <laughs> Although this one, uh, oh, because I was using um, a pen cleaner and just kind of saturating it a little bit uh, and that was actually working. But just to spin your pen tip in there, a little bit if you're working on if you're putting your pen over graphite or chalk pencils or colored pencils anything like that it really helps to just wipe it off every so often okay PSA over <laughs> all right then the other side yeah well there we go so it helped it helped a little bit this is gonna be a wide leaf but that's all right so just these dashed lines There we go. Look at how, see? Mm. Works very nicely. All right, so in the gaps that we've created, now you could do a number of things. I'm going to do just uh, like a V shape, but if you take a look at Deb's, uh, Deb's step out, and that you will find in the description section where it says, for more inspiration from the creator of the tangle, you will see... That you can like so I'm doing two straight lines to make like a V, a little notch out of these. You could do, you know, a big C-shaped curve line. You could oh she has them has it just squared off. Up to you. Okay, and then same on the other side. And there we go. Next is really uh, some decoration. So I and I'm gonna put, do straight lines. Let's see, how did she? 
Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to start here and then decide how I want to do that one. But I really like this just kind of doing, well, mine, they're not necessarily straight. They're kind of curved. It's, you know, the flicking idea or, or lifting off the pen, you know, as you're writing it instead of making it a deliberate stop because it makes that, I'm sure you can see that taper there. We were calling it the, the flick <laughs> because you do kind of flick your wrist a little bit. Well, because I'm, I'm just going to do this this way and then here, a couple like that. And you know, I really like, I'm going to do it the same on the other side. So there's of course, multiple ways you can do this too. You know, Debbie had one where it was you know like this on both sides and one where these, the lines were on this side and going out the other direction. And I'm sure you probably can come up with other things too. All right. I just think it's so neat. All right. Then you could leave it like this if you want. And I think I'm going to do that in here. You can have some fun in here. You could put orbs. You could put straight lines. I think I'm going to put some, um, there we go. Just some varied lines in there just to give it some, just some texture and that's all. Okay. Well, let's go up here a little bit. Okay. Then let's do some shading and I'm going to, you know, what? I'm going to fill in I'm like, is that what I want to do? Quick debate. Now I'm going to leave it open. I'm going to go on the outsides of it. All right. And then let's just bring it out a little bit. <laughs> that looks neat. One of the many lovely things about Zentangle um, is working to not get hung up on, oh, it doesn't look like the picture. Because it really, really doesn't matter. It's uh, somebody once said it's, it's non-representational, so you can, you know, you can do it however you want. Well, that's right. Exactly. You can. I'm going to put some on the edge here just to give it uh, some bend. Look at that. This has to come down a little bit more. Oh, it looks neat. You know, it actually, uh, while it could represent, you know, a leaf, it also looks like a, like a road or a river <laughs> coming, you know, from in the distance. Ah, <laughs> oh, so neat. Love it. All right. And if you loved it, and I hope you did. Uh, please click the like button. Oh, wait, but wait, but wait, there's more. Because I said, well, and if you watched yesterday, you already saw the samples. But this, seeing it in context of of, uh, of this, of our Kepi, you know, you might see it a little different. Because we focused on uh, Stargazer on yesterday's Tangle. But here is uh, Kepi. Now, this one I decided to do it uh, behind. and uh, And I put some just some dots down the center. And because this was a prep tile, it was rather dark. Um, uh, for both, I, you know, I decided to outline with a, a white, but then I did a, a green um, uh, moonlit jelly roll 
around the outside of this. I think that comes off really, really nice. And then this one decided to do, um, I was doing watercolor pencils. So, th you know, that's the coloring. And this one, I decided to do some orbs up the center. I might add some, uh, some white jelly roll to that, uh, still, I'm not sure. I'm waiting for the pa for the, uh, for the paper to dry completely. Uh, but really, really neat. Um, it's nice to have a lot of leafy options, um, flowery options, you know, so that way you can, you know, if you're in the mood to do X, then it's nice to have a lot of resources. Uh, Side-ish note, I do have playlists. So if you click on my, my name or my picture, that'll take you to the chant, the, like the homepage of the channel. And, um, and I think you could also put in, uh, youtube.com slash at CZT Heather. That's my handle. And that will take you to the homepage as well, but you'll see the playlists there. So I have, and sometimes I add some and I have not been good about going back and, and, you know, uh, adding older videos you know, two newer playlists, but, uh, every once in a while I, I, I kind of take a, take a peek and realize I need to add some to a new playlist, but I have one that is just leafy patterns, uh, just flowery patterns. And, uh, there, there, there's a lot of them. Um, and I probably should fine tune them a little further, but eh, you know, you know, it's, it, there's, there's still all there. You can always, if you know the, the, the pattern, you can always search for it too. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know of that resource. Eventually that will migrate to my website because that's what my website is supposed to be. All of these things in categories. Um, so working on that ever so slowly. Um, but yeah, so if you click that, that's good. Um, no, I can't. No, it was like because I, I, I took myself down the down that rabbit hole, and it's like I don't remember what I said. Anywhere, anyway, if you enjoyed it, please click like. If you liked it enough to see more, please subscribe. Feel free to leave comments, share it, and all of that. Um, in the description section, you will find links to the step outs, uh, my own version, which I always do, as well as uh, uh, Deb's step out, and you can see her samples. Uh, if you want to subscribe to my blog, uh, below that you'll find a link to my website so you can subscribe to my blog there. You can see the classes I do. So if you would like to participate in something like this, I you know I, I do them on Thursdays, two different times. We do the same content, but it's fun to try it a different way because we you get inspired by what everybody has done on the, the previous call. And it's, it's just a really, really fun time. The only thing that ties us together is the tangle. Whatever you end up doing with it, great. And, and it's just so neat to see what everybody does. And that way you can kind of stretch your creativity and have fun. So you'll find that information there. Uh, ways to follow me is where I post classes. Facebook is one of those class, uh, one of those ways. And that link is also in the description section along with the uh, a link to our uh, Tangle Addicts community. So if you want to be part of the conversation and part of the fun, we'd love to have you join us. Uh, know that there are three questions that you have to answer in order to gain entry. I think that, I think that keeps the bots out. Um, and with that, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I appreciate your watching and I wish you happy tangling.